Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So a viewer has asked to do a reading on Britney Spears' boyfriend. So that's what we'll look at today, Britney Spears' boyfriend. If you don't know his name, I'll tell it to you in the next little clip. So this could be interesting. I was a little hesitant at first, and then I tried to dig up some information on the fella, and uh, I'll show you what I found. It's not too much. But uh, his name is Sam Asgari. So in 1994, Sam Asgari was born on March 23rd in Tehran, Iran. He's Persian and the youngest of four siblings. He has one sister who's a registered nurse. Presumably she's here in the States. Now 2006, 12 year old Sam moves to Los Angeles, California from Iran to live with his truck driver dad and um, apparently he played high school uh, football and then later <coughs> college football in a program at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, but was cut before his freshman year. He later played for Los Angeles Moorhead Moore Park College. Let's have a drink of water. Because I've got a little tickle in my throat. So he later played for Los Angeles Moore Park College. And then sometime later Sam told Men's Health, uh, I guess after he got some acclaim, that uh, he was uh, in the police academy before becoming a personal trainer. His sister had encouraged him to try modeling, saying she would take him to the audition. So now in 2015, and you know, these dates are very sketchy, so I'm just, uh, what you can count on is the age that I mentioned, but the dates of these things are happening is all very sketchy. There wasn't much um, reliable on the web. So 2015, he's 21 years old, and Sam worked, uh, no, he did a walk, a walk in a Palm Springs a runway show. Later, he did a Super Bowl ad, and then plus a small part in Fifth Harmony, you know, the music group Fifth Harmony, uh, they had a work from home music video. 2016, he started dating Britney. They had met on the set of her music video for the song Slumber Party. Hmm. In 2017, Britney uploaded a picture of the two having dinner on, uh, uh, she uploaded to Instagram, they were having dinner on New Year's Day. 2019, the two made a red carpet debut at the Once Upon a Time Hollywood premiere. Also, they attended the Daytime Beauty Awards, and then Sam received an award for Excellent Achievement in Health. You'll see why. Uh, 2021, Sam is 27, and he tells Forbes magazine, apparently, that his priorities are to remain humble, understand where he's come from, and where he's going. And he wants to act. He doesn't mind becoming a young dad, uh, so could Brittany soon become pregnant again one more time? So see, you can't count on this stuff. But anyway, recently, the 29-year-old opened up, or maybe not 29 since that date is wrong. So anyway, the 20, late 20-year-old 20 opened up about the next steps for his now four or five-year relationship with Spears, but I couldn't find out exactly what they are. So I don't know. This is what I've got on uh, Sam Ashgari. So this is the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. And these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh, really uh, nice uh, guide box or guidebook uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Cran did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. I, I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box. And the cards, well, there's a little something lacking in the cards. And I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin. Um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning in the cards is unbelievable. And you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is, um, is Kim Cran's work. 
uh, her, and so it really makes you feel like some, a lot of thought, a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here. And so, and like I always say, I spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time. And I'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards, um, sadly. Um, but um, they make for a very nice um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Tarot. So Sam... Asgari, Sam Asgari. So this, he's a Persian. He's from Iran. Um, young person. I'm not sure how old Whitney is. Uh, Whitney, I'm sorry, Brittany is right now, but she's not 21 or 22. She's a little bit older than that. I think she's pushing 40. But um, so he's a personal trainer. They meet on a uh, music video. Um, he's very um, muscly, and uh, so maybe this is a, a good uh, situation for her. You know, uh, we all uh, fall in love with people that we meet in the course of our daily lives, you know, unless you uh, live in a situation where you have an arranged marriage. So, um, you know, we're going to fall in love with folks that go to our, our church, go to the uh, work at, at our office, um, are in the circle that we uh, move in. You know, that's where we're going to find the person that we fall in love with. But for me, I just don't think there's anything magical about falling in love. I think it's just uh, uh, you make a commitment. First, there's the chemical uh, attraction, the chemistry, and then you make the commitment and you stay with it or you don't. And um, so we'll see how this uh, fella uh, works out for Britain. And I guess uh, we can ask uh, if his intentions are true. Okay, does he does he love her? Has he come to love her? Does he love her? Did he love her from the beginning? Or was she just a famous somebody that all of a sudden, oh wow, they're a real person and uh, and they like me? Or is he just using her? And has he been cheating on her the whole time? So Britney Spears and Sam Asgari. But this will really be just Sam. Just Sam. Just Sam. Uh, the first thing we'll say uh, are his feelings for Britney true. And then we'll figure out what the last question will be for those last four cards. Let's see. These cards don't typically like to spread out very nicely. So I'll do this slowly. Okay. And we'll take six right off the top. One. Well, these two want to come out. Two. Three. Four. Wow, look at that. Five. Six cards are ready to tell a story today. So we'll see what are the signifier cards for this fella, Sam Asgari. Okay, the lamb. So this is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is telling us, you know, let's uh, take a moment, really um, deal with our inner self, know uh, what is happening. Um, and uh, before you move on, because it could be perilous if you stand up too soon, really consider everything that's going on in your life. Okay, that's the signifier. The challenge to that signifier for Sam is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is happy family. This is familial wealth. This is everything great. And um, so being cautious about your next move is challenged by all of this wealth that he finds himself in the middle of. That's very interesting. Um, the um, and I've heard him say, uh, heard that he has said very not good things about Brittany's father. Of course, his influence is that is Brittany. So there you go. But uh, so the challenge to his caution is all of this wealth. The uh, base of this reading is the Mother of Pentacles, and the Mother of Pentacles is simple. You know, Pentacles are worth and value, and uh, the Mother of Pentacles is like the Queen of Pentacles, and she's very in charge of her value. And maybe that's how he feels about Whitney, even though she may not necessarily actually be in charge of her value. So there we are with that. Now the um, past of this reading, uh, okay, this is the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands are typically small celebrations. So I'd guess that any celebrations they're having uh, in this relationship um, is tempered by how reined in uh, her life is at the moment. Uh, the sky of this reading then is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is the illusion and delusion. So we're going to say that, huh, that's very interesting, that everything that seems uh, uh, in that life that he's living in now may not be exactly what he thinks it is, I believe. Uh, and the near outcome for this is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands are short-term plans. That makes sense because her life is so tenuous that plans can't be particularly long-term. 
unless of course there was going to be a baby involved. That's uh, unmistakable long term. So that's where we're at now. He's uh, uh, cautious about what his next move will be. He's uh, challenged by all this familiar wealth, familial wealth that he's into. I think Brittany is this uh, queen of pentacles. Uh, that's the base of his life right now. The smaller celebrations are probably the small, short-term um, uh, uh, parties that they can have along the way, challenged by all the illusion and delusion that is her life, especially in this financial respect and with the problems with the dad. And uh, short-term planning is what is in the future. But let's see, what is the self? These cards do not like to spread out. What is the self of Sam, self, self, self of Sam, right now regarding this relationship with Whitney? Okay, so judgment. So there's a lot of judgment here. Maybe this could refer to the judgment that's pending regarding her um, uh, conservatorship. The um, environment that that's in is the daughter of swords. Swords are rules and, uh, and uh, truth and justice. And the daughter would be like the page of swords. So the page of swords is, is usually bringing um, a message of uh, what the sword uh, stands for, again, truth, justice, rules, uh, to the uh, situation. So judgment in view, in lieu, uh, or in the environment of this uh, small um, uh, page of swords. The light, uh, hopes and the fears of all of this is the ace of swords. So it's a great big truth, a great big uh, justice uh, is what the hope is. And then the uh, final outcome for all of this would be the mother of swords, which would again be a queen of swords. And uh, so that looks kind of positive. It looks like someone who's really pretty much in charge of the truths uh, that are coming their way. I like that. So this has been kind of an interesting read for Sam uh, Asgari, Britney Spears' uh, boyfriend. And for a few years now, four or five years, I guess. Uh, we started out with a caution that uh, he would need to exhibit okay, before getting up and making a move, all uh, in the in surroundings of this familiar wealth that is Britney's life. Um, uh, then um, the next interesting uh, step along this journey for me was up in the sky, the illusion and delusion that seems to be there with the likely outcome of the first part as a two of wands, which is short-term planning, no long-term planning is going to be um, in, the, in the pictures there. But then the self of him in this regard is judgment. That's coming his way uh, by the people that um, are uh, judging him and that are judging Britney's life. And then the Daughter of Swords, which is uh, the Page of Swords, which is a, just a message of truth coming their way. The Ace of Swords, then, is a great big offer of truth and justice for the hopes and the fears, with the final outcome being the Mother of Swords. So lots of truth, lots of just, justice, lots of rules coming along, and uh, this Queen of Swords uh, could be the step in the big direction. So it could be Brittany and Sam for a while. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.